Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new One More Dual Driver ANC Pro wireless headphones. So these were announced at the start of the year at CES and I've been really looking forward to checking these out. These are an upgrade on the original Dual Driver headphones that we saw previously and they come with a whole host of upgrades that of course I will cover as we go throughout the video. So let's take a look around the box and give you some of the key features then I'll give you some more details as we go. So the ANC Pros are using a 13.6mm dynamic driver as well as a balanced armature to deliver a fully balanced and precise soundstage. And once again these have been tuned by Luca Bignardi. They're high res certified with LDAC and AAC support. IPX5 water and sweat resistant so perfect if you're going to be using these for the gym or maybe running. And alongside that certification this model also offers wind noise resistance. It's going to be especially useful to those that are buying these purely to run with. And on that topic, they also fast charge. You can do three hours of playback with just 10 minutes of charge. So perfect if you want to go for a spontaneous gym or running session. And the last big feature is in the name, the ANC with active noise cancellation, which reduces the noise environment by up to 35 decibels. Now, before we get into the box, I just want to quickly mention that the model that I received seems to be a little bit of a pre-production model. So the box and the appearance of the actual headphones may vary ever so slightly. I did notice that the wind resistance logo was different to what it actually should be. So don't worry when you see mine's a little bit different. You will receive the correct version if you were to buy one. So moving the headphones to the side for now, underneath we'll find a lot of different ear tips so you can get a nice good seal in your ear. I will cover those off in a little bit more detail later on in the video. Inside those boxes, we will find a nice little carry pouch, a charging cable that's USB-C to USB-A, and there's also a USB to 3.5 millimeter connection as you can actually go wired with these headphones if you so wish. So let's get on to the main article, of course, the headphones. First of all, with the appearance, black and red, all of the S. If you look at the channel, you will understand exactly why I like the red and black. So really love the aesthetic. Bit of gloss on the ear tips to go with that matte black and separate the colors a little bit. Little splash of red, also nice. In terms of branding, just a simple one more logo on either side of the neck band, so very simplistic. And on the left-hand side is where we're gonna find all our controls. So on the inner side, you have the volume up and down a microphone and then also a play and pause. That doubles up as the next track and previous track by a double and then a triple tap. You can also press and hold that as well to activate the voice assistant. On the very top, we find the power button, the wind resistance mode that will actually beep when it's enabled, and then A and C, which you've got two modes, one which is more for trains and planes, and then a double beep for mode two, which is for quieter environments, such as places like cafes. On the very end, we'll find the USB-C port underneath the little flap. That's really well sealed as well to help protect from sweat and water. When you put these on and you have them in your ears, you do get a nice bit of slack as well. So if you're running, they're not going to tug if they do bounce around a little bit. The neck band is rubber, but it's nice and soft. So it's comfortable for wear for extended periods of use. Now the earbuds themselves are at a 45 degree angle to give you a little bit of a better fit and seal. Now on the mention of seal, I find that I'm very lucky with ear tips. Generally the ones that are on by default fit me well. But should that not be the case for you, obviously it does come with the wide range of ones that you can try out to make sure you get a good seal. Now the seal is very important to get that full range of tone through your actual ear canal. Bass is commonly lost if you don't have a good fit, so make sure you get the right seal for your own ears. Now the ones in the box that are labelled Ear Secure have a slightly wider opening to fill that ear canal a little bit better. So give them all a try and see what works for you. Now, if there's a time you're just walking with these on but not actually listening to anything, they actually magnetise together as well so they don't just flop around. So now we've had a look around the headphones, let's get on to my thoughts on the sound and the features that the Dual Driver ANC Pro offer. So in terms of sound, anytime I hear that a new product from One More is coming out, I just know it's going to deliver. Working with Luca to tune their range of products has been a great move and I've yet to be let down when listening to a One More product. The ANC Pro has continued their well-rounded, pleasing, enjoyable listening experience. The bass is deep and distortion free. These probably won't be the choice of bass heads, but that being said, it delivers it well, being clear and not muddy. The mid and high range is clear, crisp and detailed. Listening back to my usual range of genres that I test headphones with, going from rock to pop, trance, EDM, it was all really enjoyable. I heard small little details in tracks that I'd usually expect to hear with higher end headphones, so that was a nice welcome bonus. The sound stage is good and comes through well, and you can pick off different separate layers and instruments placed in tracks. Now when you flick into the ANC mode, this is where performance is only very slightly reduced, 
but certainly not detrimental to the sound by any means. The high end does take a little bit of reduction to clarity, but not enough to really be bothered by it. If you really wanted to, you could always use an EQ to bring that back up anyway. In terms of ANC, I found it to work really well. Active noise cancellation with in-ear earphones is a really hard thing to do, whereas over-ear variants are obviously over the ear, so we're already a step ahead. I've been very pleasantly surprised on how well these have been implemented with ANC Pros, and I've taken to just using these at my desk as I can concentrate a lot more than just the usual outside background noise. Now, when I walk around in the afternoon, I can't hear anything, so if you're using these in town, do take care, because it's really hard to hear anything else but the music you're listening to. Now the wind reduction feature I absolutely love. Being in the UK we don't really have great weather most of the time so wind is a big thing. This cuts the wind noise down by at least half and being these are IPX5 water resistant there's no worry when using them with our kind of weather. Now in terms of battery one more claims to get about 20 hours with ANC off and 15 with it on which is dependent on your volume level. Now real world case use scenario expect around 13 or 14 hours with ANC on and about 18 or 19 with it off. Every battery is different so taking a little bit off what a company claims is always a safe bet. Now we did take a call with this but unfortunately the quality in the microphone is lacking. One more I've put so much into these for the price point that there had to be something that didn't match up. Now that being said these are probably going to be bought by people that have more active lifestyles so that's probably not something that will be heavily relied upon so if you're only taking an occasional call then it will suffice. Overall, I just love these headphones, aesthetic wise right up my street, as I said red and black is my jam so they fit my style bang on. The headband is nice and soft and after a while you don't really notice it's there, as an example I'm actually wearing mine as I do this voiceover. To sum it all up, it's a great product and a certain improvement over the previous generation. Now being there's so much packed into these headphones, if I missed an aspect or something in particular that you want to know about, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll also leave a link in the video description if you want to pick up a pair. If you enjoyed this video or if it was any use to you then please subscribe, feel free to follow my social media down below, a big thank you to one more for sending these out for me to review, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Control.